What's up guys, this is Adam the Bee's Knees and we are back for round five question mark of the UBC and we are hoping, we are hoping to bounce back after that loss. So Orso has a pretty strong team. Um very solid Pokemon indeed. In fact, I need to check on something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so Orso has an Aggron, Mega Lopunny, Latias, Standard Blastoise, a Sylveon, and a regular Rotom. So off the bat, um, Sableye is a very predictable lead. That being said, that would make Sylveon, Lopunny maybe even a very, um, a choice he might want to make. Gramble does look like a good lead against this team. He also is noted to not bring the uh, Star Raptor, which is very good. Um, it is indeed. Uh, Don Finn is a good lead. So if I lead Don Finn and he leads Body Oss, I can go into Crest. However, I am scared of him setting up. I do have Moonblast. Um, Don Finn does seem to be an adequate lead. Rotom, of course, could go for the Will O Wisp, and that would be really annoying. Um, but I don't think he will lead Rotom. So I am going to lead off Dawn Fan and see where that takes me. So he does lead off with his regular low bunny. I'm going to try to get up my rocks. Um, if he is a power up punch variant, this could be a little tricky. I would have to go directly out in the crest. I do have the fence investment so I can take an ice punch. Um, however, if he is power up punch, I do immediately need to go out into Cresselia. And he's just going to go for the return. He is going to get a crit off of, okay? And that's fine. At this point, I am going to go into my crest. I'm going to preserve my Donphan a little more. It can maybe take on the Aggron. And it can switch in on the Rotom. As he does go for the high jump kick. And I do reveal my Rocky Helmet. Now, uh, his main switch in would be the Aggron or perhaps the Sylveon. Um... If he does go Agron, um, I would like to go into my Lodic. Rocks are a problem, but I do have Dawn Fan. So if he goes into Agron, I can go into, like, let's say my Lodic. I can Scald, potentially get a Fern on something, and I can eventually get a, get a switch in on the Dawn Fan. If he goes Lottie Oz here, I could go right for the Calm Mind, or if he goes Sylveon, which I think is a strong, fine play. Um, I think it's probably my better play. The Rotom, if he does go into Rotom, I'm going to have to go directly into the Dawn fan though. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. As he does go into the Aggron. Okay. So he does decide to go into the Aggron here. Um, I do believe Aggron is going to try to get up his rocks. Um, that being said... I know Rocks is going to be a pain. I could try to go into Dawn Fan and scare him out. I could go directly into Sableye here and Mega Evolve, which is something I want to do because I am physically defensive, so an Earthquake won't hurt. As he goes for the Heavy Slam, so this is fine. What I'm going to do is go straight up for a Recover. Um, I will get my Recover. Pranksterized. I learned that the hard way. So here we are. So now Heavy Slam's not going to do much, and what this allows me to do is get a free knock off, because I don't expect- oh, okay, so he does stay in, so that's fine. The Sturdy has been popped, so Don Fan will be able to Oko, and what I want to do here is go for the Willow- <sighs> hmm. Um, I do- Heavy Slam does 22. I just want to get off a safer cover, because and what I was thinking was Willow Wisp would not be worth it, especially with the Sylveon here, because Sylveon- um, I do want to see if he specs. So I am going to open up a damage calc right now. Um, let's open up that damage calc. Because I would like to see how much it can do to my Milotic. So. Uh, my internet's a little slow these days. Alright, so I'm, let's say, worst case scenario, choice specs user. And I have a fully spadef Milotic. I'm pretty positive. Um. 83 so my Lodic at max for death oh, 
Okay. Now, the only thing is, he could baton pass, he could sub. I can prevent him from going for the Calm Mind, though, because I have Haze. So he's going to Hyper Voice. It does 44%. It does 44%. Um, it could be a Mineral. Um, okay, what about a regular Sylveon? Regular Sylveon. Okay, so this is an offensive variant of Sylveon. Um, I'm going to go for the Recover here. As he is going to Hyper Voice here. Okay, he's going to Hyper Voice again. Um, I'm gonna click recover. Um, now, I don't. I am faster. I could go right out for the knockoff. I could knock him out, which I am going to want to do at this point. I'm just gonna go for the Miracote. I'm gonna cut my losses there because my Milotic has reached its purpose. It can come in on the Blastoise and maybe the Agron at one point. Um, but getting off that. Getting rid of the Sylveon, I think, was pretty crucial at this stage. Um, I am predicting a fake out or high jump kick, even. Um, I'm just gonna go into my Cresselia now. Cresel okay, so this thing clearly cannot come in, um, and I actually want to make an aggressive play out into my Milotic, predicting the Agron to want to go um, to want to recover up um, because my Milotic can be valuable when fighting a blast voice which can hurt my team um, which is is out here now so blastoise is going to be the pokemon to make his appearance and i'm going to click mirico i see toxics okay which is actually not bad what this allows me to do is take psy shocks better um so what i want to go into is my save light and i want to go for a will-o-wisp um, because I think that's a safe play. Scald. Oh, okay. This is fine. So the Rotom wants to come out, and the Rotom can only Thunderbolt or Volt switch out. So I'm just going to knock off. It's very important if I knock off this Choice Steps or Scarf. Um, that way he cannot trick my Cresselia or my Lodic or whatever. Um, okay. So the Aggron does want to come out. That's fine. Um, from I do not believe this Aggron can hurt me. I'm just going to straight up burn it. If he wants to go into Latias, that's fine. Heavy Slam's going to do that much. Um, okay, I miss. I'm going to recover up after he goes for the Heavy Slam here. As he goes back into the Blast Toys. Now, I preferably would not like to get Scald burned. Um, I, though I don't know what's more important. Burning this thing or knocking him off. Or going into potentially risking a burn on something else. Um, I don't need save by that much, so I do want to just get some damage off. Scald won't do much, and I do land off the burn. So I do get the burn off here, and I'm going to go directly out. And I'm going to go for a knockoff to limit this things. Hopefully, I don't get burned. Alas, I get burned. That's not that bad of a situation. Just because I want the Blastoise to get weakened a little bit, and I'm going to recover here. Um, he may as well predict that and go into Low Punny. That is fine. Cresselia is my switch in every single time, and that Low Punny will not uh, last too long. Though at this point, my Curum is looking pretty nice to sweep. All I have to do is weaken the Agron, and my Choice Scarf Curum can run through this man's team. Um, Gramble also could be a very valuable member. I have to watch out for the Rotom. Um, and this last choice because he would outspeed me. But Gramble can 1v1 to Latios, I believe. So I'm going to recover. Um, he's going to Scald. Um, I am going to... I cannot afford... I cannot risk it. Yeah. So I'm just going to recover here. Um, actually, this is fine. Because this Blastoise is going to get weak enough with the Stealth Rocks to be able to be knocked out by anything I want to throw at him. He can go into Megalopony here. Um, that's fine with me. So he does decide to go into Megalopony. Okay. Now, High Jump Kick, of course, probably will hurt. So I'm just going to go directly into my Crest. I'm not going to take any um, potential damage here. Now, he has shown his switch in to be Aggron every time. However, I'm going to Moonlight, as he does go for the return, which is nice. Um, I predicted him to want to maybe potentially stay in. 
So the Agron is at 60%. I want to go for the Moonblast here as this is going to take out the low funding. I could have recovered. I honestly expected him to go out to Agron. However, Cresselia can still recover up on something else. So Rotom comes out and I'm going to go into, I don't know what kind of Rotom this is. Donphan is initially my check for this thing. Um, however, I think Sableye is a safer. Donphan's not really needed as much as Mega Sableye. This is gonna Shadow Ball me. Um, okay, so he is probably a Specs variant at this point. I am going to go for the Ice Shard just to do some damage. Um, uh, that way the Rotom can go down maybe more easily to knock off. Um, because I, um, you know what? If this, I don't know what item he is, and that is potentially scary for me. However, my Kyurem would be able to outspeed. And let me just make sure that a Kyurem Black can deal with Rotom at this amount of HP. Um, I don't know if I'm Jolly or not. TBH. I'm just gonna not have Life Orb. Against a standard Rotom. I probably could have preserved that. Okay. Dragon Claw does do enough at this point. Um, actually, uh, no. I, Dragon Claw is a, does enough to what I want it to do. Um, if he goes out to Aggron, I have a switch in. Um, so he does decide to sack off his Blast Toys here. They changed some animation. That's, that's pretty cool. So Aggron's gonna want to come out. Um, I am just going to go into my Sableye. I do not want him to set up rocks, even late rocks, because that just hurts my Kyurem. Um, so he goes for the Stone Edge here. This actually does a ton. Um, and now what I'm going to do... Ooh. This Aggron can be a... Oh. It's not that bad of an issue. I need to try to burn him right now. So he goes for the heavy slam. Okay, I burned him. Um, that's perfect at this point because now um, I am going to click recover. He's going to take me out. Um, that's okay by me. I am now going to go into my grand bowl, I believe, and I'm going to try to sweep the game. I'm going to try. Uh, I see heavy slams. That's a lot though. Uh, power up punch is going to raise attack. Preferably he goes into Rotom here. As he does go into the Mega Lottie, or just the regular Latias. I don't, I want to go into my, because I want to see, because my Gramble's not physically defensive and I don't know how much the Latias can do. Um, let's just, uh, Psyshock is a roll, and it's, a, actually, hold on, Psyshock does 47, whatever. Oh, perfect! <laughs> he is the offensive, he is the Psychic variant, too, which is nice, nice, nice. I'm going to preserve, um the differential at this point and I'm going to go into my Kyurem, take any hit even if he wants to burn me at this point. Shadow Ball, uh, it does crit, it does. However, a Dragon Claw from a Choice Scarf Kyurem is able to take out the Rotom and we have a nice 4-0 after last round. Um, this does put me in a good spot because reasons. Um, so that's very good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we did bounce back after last game. I think I could have played this game a little bit better. Uh, I'm very surprised because Bandit's Theraptor would have hurt my team. However, that being said, Cresselia could deal with it. However, it probably would have put more pressure on my put team. Uh, server isn't registered. Okay. Well, anyway guys, I, this is Adam the Bees Knees signing out. Goodbye.